Good evening. Welcome to Hot Mess Issue Today, The Hit. Please subscribe to my channel, like, and follow me. Please feel free to make any comments that you choose. Today, I have on the religion mask. The topic, Muslims. I don't get it. Muslims, especially the men, will have you believe that their doctrine, the Quran, does not mention women. And it does. It has a complete chapter on how the women should be valued, how they should live their lives, etc., etc. But they keep them like and treat them like animals and typically all these religions boil down to doctrines that men can use at their own benefit i don't understand why women continue to put up with it These Muslims, they find almost any reason to kill, torture, maim their women when they think their manhood is being tested or questioned. But they do the maiming, the killing, and torturing in the name of Allah, being a Muslim, and the Quran is all a bunch of bull. But the women, on the other hand, are in the majority most of the time. As we can see now, they're starting to protest and ban and not put up with a lot of this stuff, like wearing the hajib wrong. Been hundreds of years, you shouldn't have to wear it at all unless they just want to. Everything progresses, everything evolves. And, you know, they have to wear their hair covered or head covered, but the men and everybody else are using cell phones. Cell phones weren't invented when these religious doctrines were written, but they don't have a problem implementing that. But they do have a problem evolving from the need to wear a G. They, the men, they can also have more than one wife. I haven't heard any cases where women, Muslim women, have more than one husband. Now, I could be wrong, but certainly, if they can, is in the minority of those that do. And, if it is happening is definitely some some unique situation but it's plenty of muslim men that have multiple wives and they treat all of them like animals it's ridiculous that the men can't be totally up front with the rest of the world if Muslim doctrine is supposed to be so good and so great, why don't you show and let the world know what the full Quran says? We get plenty of feedback and letters.
lessons on what the rest of the world that aren't Muslims should be doing. We get plenty of lessons about what's going to happen to all of us, but we don't hear anything about how the women are supposed to be treated from those teaching the Quran. Now, it's going to come a day, it's already starting a little bit, that the women, Muslim women, are going to revolt and decide enough is enough. And that will be a new day. The men won't be able to kill enough of them or put enough of them in jail or uneducate enough of them to turn things back. Time will move on. It's just a tragedy that a whole country of Muslim men decided that the women shouldn't be educated. You know, it's, it's can't survive. Education will be needed to be able to move any population of people in evolution to the next stage of life. And if they can't read and write, they're going to be left alone. And eventually, they're going to die out. Disease and everything else. So, I like to see what Allah is going to do at that point if these Muslim men don't get on board. And I'm not saying they have to do everything that any other religion or any other society does, but there's a basic of rights and a basic uh, level of needs that all populations of people will have to share. And one of them is education. It's unavoidable. They're going to have to start educating the women and female children in Afghanistan. Or at some point, they're going to perish or be taken over. This has been Hot Mess Issue Today, The Hit. Please subscribe to my channel, like, and follow.